Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to prove this trigonometric identity, which is uh, pretty simple. So the very first step, we're going to assume this uh, trig identity already. So we're going to say assume that sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. And we're also going to need to know that sine over theta over cosine of theta equals tangent theta. So once we have that, we can actually start proving that this right here is true. So simply, we're going to take this equation right here and multiply everything by uh, 1 over cosine squared theta. So what I'm saying is we're going to take sine squared theta and we're going to multiply that by cosine squared theta plus cosine squared theta over cosine squared theta. And that's going to equal 1 over cosine squared theta. So right here, this right here is actually just sine theta over cosine theta quantity squared. And as we defined earlier by this equation, we, sa we could say that this is just tangent theta. And then we could say that is squared due to this right here. So once we have that, we can rewrite this equation. So this is simply going to go to 1. So anything divided by itself is just 1. And this right here is actually just secant squared theta because we know that 1 over cosine theta is just secant theta. And if we just square that, this just makes it 1 over secant squared or 1 over cosine squared, which equals secant squared. So that's also written as cosine squared like that. So once we know that, we can rewrite this equation. So we could say this is equal to tangent squared theta plus 1 equals secant squared theta and that is going to be our proof. So that is the whole proof for this, uh, this trig identity. Um, most of these weird so-called trig functions that are related to each other are defined by this original uh, identity right here. So it's just a form of manipulation to derive um, these kind of formulas or these other trig trigonometric identities. So hopefully this video helped you guys and I'll see you in the next video.